Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, or should I say, your ladies and gentlemen, because yes, we have some pirate adventure here, because Unreal Engine, they are coming for your booty, especially if your booty happens to be using the Unity game engine right now. And this is the most direct attack of sorts on Unity developer base that I've ever seen from Epic Games. And this includes when, remember when Unreal Engine, sorry, when the Unity game engine kind of lit themselves on fire with that whole runtime fee? Uh, Unreal Engine mostly just sat on the, the sidelines, you know, making s'mores from the tire fire. They didn't actually go after those developers then. But what they've done is they've commissioned this sample. The reason for all the YARs is this is a pirate-based game. And the thing that's cool about this one is it is for both Unity and Unreal Engine. So you can see how things are done in Unity. And then there's documentation for those people to show, okay, now here's how to do the same game in Unreal Engine. It's a very cool project. It's being commissioned with uh, Secret Dimension. These are a bunch of contract developers, former AAA level experience. They work with both Unreal Engine and Unity, they've created this full-on sample. We'll come back to the blog about it in just a minute. By the way, if you are here, chances are you're either interested in Unity or Unreal Engine. Just so you're knowing, there are two bundles going on right now. There's massive bundles available on Gumroad. From Lurtez, we've got the Summertime Unreal and the Summertime Unity bundle. With all of this stuff here, the big thing you want to notice is the code S60. So go ahead, check out the Unreal Engine one, for example. You're getting a ton of different environments here. Basically, it boils down to one of these environments worthwhile. You're getting everything else for free. But you'll notice here the price is $99.99. Use the code S60. Drops it down by 60 bucks, makes it $39.99. Links are down below. Using them helps support me. Thank you very much. All right, back to the examples. These are actually available up on Fab Marketplace right now. You're going to notice also, Fab got a major facelift. It's a lot nicer looking than it used to be, which isn't really saying a whole lot. But the key thing that we've got here is this. We've got the new par pirate, par sorry, parrot game sample for Unreal Engine as well as for Unity. So we've got these two different versions of it, the Unreal version and the Unity version. This one here is for Unreal Engine 5.6. This one here is for Unity version 6.0 and higher. Basically, log into your Fab account. Uh, this one, you can download it. It comes down as a full project. You just import it into Unity 6 or higher, and you are off to the races. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these in action. So here we are. This is the Unity version of it. This is the uh, main title screen. If you're trying to find your way around here, uh, what you're going to want to do is come on in here to... This is is not incredibly intuitive. They're actually... The main contents are under these environment levels. You've also got uh, these things that load them. So main menu, main menu UI loads the main menu environment. But you come here to environment and you can see this is the first level of our game, like so. And we've got a second level, and this is a two and a half D style platformer. So you see, basically you start over here and you go all the way to the end. This is using best practices in the Unity game engine. And then we got the boss fight over here, like so. Everything is set up as prefabs that you can drop into the scene. So for example, here is the enemies, the skeleton. So if you need a skeleton, boom like so, fully set up, fully scripted, and working as you would expect in their game engine. Here is the same thing on the Unreal Engine side of things. Again, same similar setup. They use a system-based approach. The nice thing is everything that they've done is fully documented. In terms of the game that you're actually creating between these two, let us go ahead and check it out. So here we go. Uh, so it's three levels. So get in the world, jump, jump. I suck at platformers, and I suck even more when I'm demoing things. This gives you an idea. I'm going to try and get to the end of this particular example. But this is what you are actually creating. So this is one of the levels, then there is another level, and then a boss fight. I'm only going to show you one of the levels in action, but you get an idea of what it is. So this is basically exactly the same thing on the Unity side of things, but obviously it is done in the, U uh, the Unity way. And on the uh, Unreal Engine side of things, this is done using blueprints, etc. And it's using everything up to date. So it's using, I'm not sure if it's using Nanite, but it's definitely using Lumen uh, and other things. It is fully documented. We'll get back to that in just a second. I really hope that guy moves, otherwise I can't jump. All right, here we go. So jump. And boom, end of the level. And then it transitions on to the next level. And that is basically what the game is all about. Pretty straightforward. But this is a learning sample in both game engines. So the entire idea here is if you are a Unity developer, Epic Games wants you to transition over to Unreal Engine. So they have provided this entire template to do it. So over here on the Unreal Engine side, for example, uh, maps. Here's your level one map, like so. Everything there. Uh, it's controlled by a level blueprint, uh, and then 
Again, we got the various different other prefabs available as well. Uh, they're not called prefabs over here. They're called blueprints over here. So we saw earlier on, we had that skeleton. So skeleton, there is the skeleton character like so. And then all the blueprints controlling it are available as well. So everything you need to create a full functioning game and then uh, first in Unity, which you're comfortable with and using. And then what they've done is they've set up all this documentation on transitioning you over to Unreal Engine, which is their ultimate end goal here. So what you see here, we've got the Parrot game documentation. And this is, uh, again, walking you through all the various different pieces that go together. So um, the level blueprint, subsystem, serialization, Unreal gameplay framework, uh, and basically how they made everything that you see here. And you're going to notice if you look over at the sideline over here, there's this entire track, Unreal Engine for Unity Developers. This is under that now. So this is available. Parrot sample game has been added into that training. But you've got this full documentation here basically talking about how to move from Unity over to Unreal Engine. So it's going to, you know, instead of a game object, you use this and so on. I think that is literally, see here, game objects in Unreal Engine. Kind of shows you how you do the same thing uh, in C++ and Blueprints that you would do in C Sharp on the other side. Uh, and then now they've, of course, added this full-blown pirate sample. That sample is downloadable for both Unity with 6.x and higher and Unreal Engine 5.0. 5.6 or higher. And this is using, again, a number of uh, top tier things. Uh, by the way, Unity do have something similar for Unreal Engine developers, but compared to this now, it looks so incredibly half-assed. But there is in Unity Learn a transitioning from Unreal to Unity lesson about a half an hour long. If you want to look at moving from uh, Unreal Engine to Unity, there is a small amount of documentation, but nothing that comes close to this this level of documentation, everything that we were seeing here. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is our topic of the day. So it ultimately is the Parrot game sample. A bit more of a breakdown of what was involved in it. So this is a 2.5D pirate-themed platform, three levels, a title screen, main menu system as well. Um, and then, again, in on the Unreal Engine side of things, it made use of uh, a number of different... Uh, features and walks you through how to use various different aspects of Unreal Engine here. There's also an ancillary set of documents. We looked at that earlier on that go through how things work on the Unreal Engine side. So in addition to showing you how to do things like uh, input lighting, shaders, materials, audio, character controllers, physics, and management systems, they also use some Unreal Engine specific stuff such as Lumen for global illumination. Yeah, I guess they are using Nanite, even though it's massive overkill. Uh, behavior trees for enemy AI, world partition for level streaming, sequencer for the swimming sharks, which I didn't get to uh, Unreal Motion graphics for the UI, common UI also for the UI, and enhanced input. So if, even if you are not coming from the Unity background, you're just looking at how to get started with Unreal Engine, this isn't a beginner level tutorial. I'm not going to walk you through the very basics. They're assuming as a baseline, you already are familiar with using Unity. But if you've used another game engine and you want to get up to speed as quick as possible with Unreal, also a very useful example. So this one uh, is available uh, on the Fab Marketplace. So once again, quick reminder, there is these two sets of uh, bundles. Use the code S60. Drop 60 bucks off the price. Links are down below. And then, of course, there is the Unreal Engine version of this. There is the Unity version of this, both available up on Fab. And then, of course, the documentation that walks you through the, the Unreal Engine side of things. Plus, the code is supposed to be incredibly well documented on the Unity side, so you know exactly where you're coming from. But this is not obviously meant to teach you how to create a game in Unity. Although, ironically enough, it's a decent tutorial for Unity developers, too. So even if you are not using Unreal Engine from the Unity side of things, hey, it's a cool sample to learn from. So let me know what you think, Yar, and I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.